Hello, my name is Katrina Zeno, and today is Good Friday of 2020. And this morning I decided I would do something special for Good Friday. Uh, in my family growing up with my son, we had a tradition every Good Friday, which was to somehow represent the Stations of the Cross. So you can see over here, here was one year where we did the Stations of the Cross by making a collage for each station. Well, this morning I decided that I, today I decided that I would make the Stations of the Cross using hard-boiled eggs. So yesterday, I got 14 eggs, I hard boiled them, uh, let them dry and sit overnight, and then this morning I got up and I colored them. And as I was doing that, I had this inspiration to do the Stations of the Cross with the theme of Christ the Bridegroom. So that's what I want to share with you, is how to pray the Stations of the Cross reflecting on Christ the Bridegroom. So let's do that together. So if there's anyone around in your household that you'd like to join us, a spouse, kids, a roommate, uh, please invite them to join us as we pray a very simple Stations of the Cross reflecting on Christ the Bridegroom. Because on this day we celebrate how Christ gives his life, a total gift of self, for his bride. So let's begin in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The bridegroom begins his final journey. Thank you, Jesus, as the bridegroom, that on this day we celebrate your final journey to the cross, to your total gift of self in love for us, your bride. Amen. The second station. Jesus takes up his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The bridegroom rejoices in the wood of the marriage bed. Jesus, thank you that as you picked up the cross, there was a manner in which you embraced it because you knew that it was the wood of the marriage bed of the cross where you would make your total gift of self and love to your bride. Amen. The third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The bridegroom bears the weight of the sins of the bride. Thank you, Jesus, that as the church, each and every one of us is your bride. And thank you that as you walked the way of the cross, you carried our sins, even though they were heavy and they caused you to fall. Amen. The fourth station. Jesus meets his mother Mary. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The womb that bore the bridegroom now bears his sorrow with him. Thank you, Mary, that as our mother and the mother of Jesus, that you bore with him his sorrows and the pains and the burden of the sins of the world. Thank you that you are also our mother who can help us bear our sins and their effects. Amen. The fifth station, Simon helps Jesus carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The friend of the bridegroom helps. Dear Jesus, thank you that you show us that even though you were God, you also needed friends. And you say in the Gospel of John, I no longer call you servants, but friends. Thank you for this friend, Simon of Cyrene, who helped you carry your cross. Thank you for each other, that we can also, in a way, be the friend of the bridegroom and help you carry your cross and help others carry their crosses. Amen. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. 
the bridegroom gifts us with the image of his human face. Thank you, Jesus, that you were not only divine, but you are also human. And in leaving the imprint of your face upon the veil of Veronica, perhaps an image of the wedding veil, you left us an image, although beaten and scarred, of the divine bridegroom in his human appearance. Amen. The seventh station, Jesus falls again the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The bridegroom knows the crushing weight of our sin and pain two times. Dear Jesus, thank you that you, in becoming man, have an intimate knowledge of what it is to experience the consequences of sin, even though you never sinned yourself. Thank you, Jesus, that you fell not only once, but you fell a second time, knowing the weight of our sins. Please help us when we fall to be able to get up again with you, our divine bridegroom. Amen. The A station, the bridegroom consoles the bride. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus, I'm sorry, station eight, Jesus meets the women and children of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The bridegroom consoles his bride. Jesus, when you met the women and children of Jerusalem, in many ways they represent all of us as the bride. And you, as the divine bridegroom, you did not think of yourself or turn your attention to yourself, but rather expressed your compassion for them. Thank you, Jesus, that your desire is to express your compassion as the bridegroom for each of us as your bride. Amen. The ninth station, Jesus falls a third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A third time, the bridegroom endures the fall for love of the bride. Dear Jesus, even though you never fell, mankind fell. At the beginning of our human history and throughout all of history up till this point, Thank you that as the new Adam, you come to reverse the consequences of the fall. But you fell not only once, not only twice, but three times in order to reverse these very deep and painful consequences that we experience. Amen. The tenth station, Jesus is stripped naked. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The bridegroom is naked, but not ashamed, ever. Dear Jesus, even though we often don't think of you this way, you were completely stripped of all your garments and your clothes, and you hung for love of us, naked and vulnerable on the cross. Thank you that as the bridegroom, you were willing to be exposed to all the elements of nature and to those who were mocking you and making fun of you. And you did this out of love for us, out of your bride. Help us come to you and in a sense be willing to be naked before you and to share with you our deepest sorrows, our deepest fears, and our deepest pains. Amen. The 11th station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The nails of Eros fasten the bridegroom to the covenant sacrifice. Dear Jesus, Scripture has revealed that you are the unblemished Lamb of God. 
who gave himself for his bride in order to bring about, in order to seal the new covenant. For you yourself has, have said this. This is the blood of the new covenant which I will shed. Thank you that it was not physical nails that held you to the cross, but it was your great, great desire to sacrifice yourself as the Lamb of God to make this new covenant with mankind and with each and every one of us so that the two can become one body, one flesh. Amen. The twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The bridegroom makes his total gift of self in love. Jesus, thank you that so often we look at the cross and we see, we see blood, we see death, we see destruction, and yet open our eyes as your bride to be able to see that the cross is where the whole world can see the divine bridegroom offering his body, making a total gift of self in love for his bride, for the forgiveness of our sins, to seal and make this new covenant and bring us into eternal communion with you. Amen. The 13th station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The bride receives the body of the bridegroom, Dear Jesus, thank you that even after your death, Scripture speaks to us profoundly as your body is taken down from the cross and laid in the arms of your mother, and that your mother is an image of all of us, of how she received the body of the bridegroom. Jesus, may we too receive your body in a way that is worthy, in a way that is receptive, in a way that is full of love, every time we receive you in the Eucharist. Amen. And finally, the 14th station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The bridegroom rests. Thank you, Jesus, that after pouring yourself out, in love for us. Indeed, even, even having your side pierced so that blood and water flowed forth, the blood and water of the new covenant, of the sacraments, of baptism and the Eucharist, that on this day you rested in the tomb. You rested in a Sabbath rest so that you could come forth from the tomb as the bridegroom from his bridal chamber. Jesus, help us too to rest in you and to know how deeply and profoundly we are loved in the very tomb of our own hearts. Amen. And we end these stations of the cross by offering our thanksgiving and our praise to you, Jesus Christ, the divine bridegroom, and to your Father who so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him would not perish, but would have eternal life. We bless you, we praise you, Jesus Christ, that in giving us your body and blood as the bridegroom of the new covenant, you have made eternal life possible for every one of us. May you have a blessed and very holy Good Friday, a holy, holy Saturday, and an even greater and more blessed Easter Sunday as we celebrate the resurrection of the body of our bridegroom. God bless you. And remember, you are a gift. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.